Hello there Pandoranders, today I'm going to be building an Indonesian style home. I searched up online how it looked like, so I'm just going by a few images on the internet, but I also made it my own style too. I added lots of wood because I felt like building with wood, so here we go! First we're going to be starting out with the base of the house which is also known as the exterior. I'm doing all the outlines and then I'm seeing where to put things and mapping it all out in my head as we go. I usually don't put pools outside, but I thought if this was going to be a bigger style home, why not? While editing, I just realized how lonely that one floaty is. For privacy and also to blend in with the wood theme that I'm going to be building, I added in trees. Also remember that I did this build before the update so I didn't have those other more realistic looking trees, but I guess it looked fine. I wanted to go a little bit out of my comfort zone so I added in a bridge going into like a guest house, guest room, whatever you want to call it, and we'll go back to it later on after the main house. To be honest, for the entrance I had no idea what I was going to be doing. I know I wanted a bridge, but then I just started putting tables on top. It looked pretty cool at the end, but it also had some bumps, so it's up to you if you decide to rebuild this. Now this was too much to accept. guys. Do not donate all your money to me because I feel really bad. No matter if you have three million dollars, just give me a dollar. Don't donate like a 100k that's too much and I feel bad for taking it. I absolutely thank each and every one of you who donate because I wouldn't be able to build all these houses and make videos of them without all of your support but also I can earn it on my own if I needed to. I just can't thank you enough. I feel like with the wood texture you have to make it like tropical looking so I also added water in the front and over here we're starting to add in parts of the guest house. I also felt like this should be a cabana looking guest house or like a hut so I added in these two roofings together and it made a perfect shape. And now I'm going to continue with the exterior, adding in windows and some more walls. Thank you. 
And now I'm going to be beginning to decorate and do the interior of the main house. Over here will be a bathroom and a bedroom. As you're going to be starting to notice most likely, I kind of tried my best to use different colors, different style all at once because you guys kept saying that you wanted me to try something new, so here I am. I added a little bit more color other than just white and gray and I replaced the gray color with like this wood, so let's see if this will work. While building, I saw this across the street and it's absolutely adorable. They didn't have enough space to add in the A, but you know it says Panda. And now I was trying to figure out where I should put the dining room and the kitchen because this area was so narrow, but I finally figured out where to put the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room all at once. And as you can see now, this is going to be the kitchen. Over here will be the dining room area right next to the kitchen. I also combined it some chairs to give it a cool looking shape and I was actually pretty proud of that. Fair warning for anyone who dislikes plants, I'm going to be adding a lot of them because I absolutely love them and they give them shape texture to the house and whatnot. Over here I'll be adding in tons of them. Of course you need advanced placing to do this and I really like how the outcome came. Yas, we add in some colorful chairs! And I asked some people who are watching or outside of my build to tell me some colors and they did. Thank you so much for the help because Sometimes I get like mind blocked, what's the name of it? I don't know, I have nothing, no thoughts of what colors to use because I keep using the same colors and I don't want to use gray. So you guys helped me a lot by just naming random colors and I just added them in as chairs. Now it's time to do the second floor. I also felt like there wasn't enough light from the outside, so I added in lots of windows all around. To give it some more color, I added in another of my favorite things, some cool looking lights.
Since I decided to change the color of the roofing compared to the rest of the house and make it wood, I added in these lights to separate it and make it look less weird. These picnic carpets look really cool so I decided to combine them all together then it showed like a laggy texture so I added them all in white and gray and it turned out pretty cool looking. Over here I'm going to be adding in some tables and some mirrors along with some plants of course to give it a less empty looking house. Unfortunately, the server I was with all those amazing people lagged out and it disconnected me So I joined another one and we have some more amazing people Come to think of it. They're not people. They're panda wandas <laughs> And over here will be the biggest bedroom in the house And now I'm going to start decorating the second floor and the outside at the same time. Now I'm going to be putting on the borders of the guest house. I wanted it to be open of course so that's going to be the bedroom up top and then at the bottom it will be like a small kitchen, living room area, all that stuff. Everyone outside watching was saying it's raining so I added in some umbrellas. I felt bad for them and they stood on top of them. What type of logic is that? <laughs> and here we go with the upstairs. Up here I'll be including a small bedroom, a pool table, and some desks. A lot of people asked me how I made the pool table in the mother and daughter roleplay. That was actually Becky's house, but I also brainstormed on how to make it because I included it in one of my builds before. So I'll be making a tutorial on that pretty soon. And finally we go to the guest house. I'm adding in some bottom layers of the flooring and also the top layers for the second floor. Along with some coloring for the exterior and interiors. Oh, 
over here I thought that an outside indoor garden it's hard to explain I just added lots of plants and covered it with glass it looked pretty cool I didn't know exactly how you guys think it did but I liked it in my opinion I didn't want a person to be living in this guest house and not have a bathroom needing to go to the main house. Instead I added in a very small bathroom, it actually looked pretty cute so that's what I did there. <laughs> Over here will be the mini kitchen. Next will be a tiny living room, literally just a chill out area with a TV. and lots of lights. I decided to do two color lights because it looked kind of cool. I did blue and yellow. Since this wall was a little bit plain, you can never go wrong with some clocks, am I right? And finally, we come up to the top floor, which will be a bedroom. I'll be adding a double bed right here and then a sleeping bag along with some comfortable chairs to look out at the front of the house. I also decided to add in some sun chairs outside on the roof because it was a little bit plain. Then I did some finishing touches on the main floor and finally got into doing the bathroom. Really random comment, but it gives me a real satisfaction when I see two mirrors together. I don't know why. And here will be the biggest bedroom in the house. It's going to also include a closet.
And finally for the main downstairs area, this will be the living room. I'm also going to be adding a fireplace right over here since it was a little bit plain right in the middle of the walkway. As I said before, I'm adding in lots of windows, especially downstairs because I want sunlight to shine in instead of adding in lights everywhere. Now I'm going to be adding in to the pool table showing where like the pocket holes and all the balls where they go. Over here I created a little seating area for like a board game if you wanted to. I forgot to add in cards there but you could do that if you'd want. And now I'm going to be starting on the smaller bedroom. This is where I decided to add in some bookshelves and also a desk area for like an office. Just for fun, I took out this huge fountain and started trying it places. Then I realized it didn't really fit good. So instead I thought to myself, hmm, why not try and make my own type of waterfall? So that's what I did here. I've never seen this design anywhere, but you're welcome to use it. Of course, if there is, I don't take the credits, but I've never seen it anywhere. I surrounded it with some rock texture and also some water texture for it to give like a waterfall feel. And then finally I put in some rocks and a fog machine up top. Now I'm attempting to add in some different colored grass because I felt like it looked kind of weird without it so I just put that around pretty much my whole plot. Then I finished up some things with more decoration.
I also decided to add in a grill right over here because why not? You can't go wrong with these string lights and to give it more light during the night. Oh, that rhymes. I added them in all around. When in doubt, add some plants. And now, finally, I'm giving some light to the whole plot. And now I'm coming back to the front of the plot and I'm playing around with the flooring to make the shape out for the grass. The people outside watching me told me to add in some more windows and that's of course what I did. Okay, I gotta admit, this wall was really plain and since I had decoration like the other side with a mirror and some plants, that's literally what I did and it looked a little bit less empty. Since both grasses couldn't really blend in, I just decided to outline my whole plot with these bushes and 
it looked good. Then I added in this pole and tried to make it look like the bushes grew out and made like a welcome, not a welcoming thing. I don't even know what to call it. But I just put this overhead thing, added some lights because Narwhal told me to add some more fairy lights because why not? And that was about it. Hold up, that wasn't about it. I just added in some more lights and some more last minute decorations along with some trees outside and gardening. I said and so many times, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> and that's the end result. I'm kind of really proud of this build even though there's some iffy parts that I didn't like but it looked pretty great. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Pandawanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Bye!